we're going to look at descriptive statistics for a stem and leaf plot. Example one gives you a stem and leaf plot showing the average number of texts sent per day during a week for a sample of teenagers. And I just want to mention that the objective of this video is not to think about whether or not that sample of teenagers was a random sample or what the population is. So maybe they were just a sample from a certain uh, high school or maybe they were in a certain town or maybe, or maybe they're looking at all teenagers across the US or across the world. Okay, this is not the objective of the lesson. Okay, the objective is to just look, given a set of data with a stem and leaf plot to calculate the descriptive statistics. The mean, median, mode, standard deviation. Okay, so getting back to the, to the numbers here. So that first row says that we had one student in the sample had 20 texts on average during the week. Another student had 25 another student had 32, another student 33, and so on. Okay, so if we want to calculate the sample mean and the standard deviation, well, doing this by hand would be very tedious, especially for the standard deviation. Now, the sample mean, you could find that by adding up the 34 data values and then dividing by 34. So you could do that by hand, but it's a little time consuming. Okay, especially for the standard deviation, you're going to want to use your calculator. Okay, so here are the steps on using the calculator to find standard deviation. Okay, so what you do is press the stat, oh, turn on first, press the stat button, and then press enter so you edit a list. Now you'll notice I already have mine uh, entered in just to save time. But the first data value was 20, the next one 25, and so on. Okay, and if I go all the way down to the bottom, you'll notice that down here in the calculator it says L1 parentheses 24, 25, and so on. That number tells you the value you're at in your list. And notice that I entered them in order here, so 72 is the 34th number in list 1. Okay, now it is easy to make a mistake and miss one or enter one in more than it should, but I just gotta be careful with that. Okay, so what we'll do now is to calculate the mean and standard deviation and other, other statistics, statistics that I'll show you. You press stat again, and then over to calculate, and there's only one variable, meaning the number of texts that were sent so we're going to do one variable stats. And this, this is where you either do second one. Okay, so notice how L1 is written above the one. So you're going to do second one for list one. Depending on your operating system, you may also have on your screen, it says X list. Well, you want that to be L1. And then you might have a, a uh, frequency option. Okay, you either leave that blank, so delete what's in there, or put a 1. And depending on the operating system, one of those methods should work. Okay, I'll press Enter, and it gives me all of these descriptive statistics. So 52.26 is the mean. And then the sample standard deviation is 13.4. Okay, so that's the answer to part A. Okay, I'll notice there it gives you N. The sample size is 34, and if I scroll down more, okay, this will also give you the, the uh, core tiles, the median, the max, and the min. So basically the five number summary. Okay, the next question says find each of the following, find the median. Well, the median is right there on their calculator, 55.5. Okay, remember the other way to find the median is to find its location by doing L equals N plus one over two. So that's 34 plus one over two. That gives you 17.5. Okay, which means you have to average the 17th and 18th data values. 
Okay, so if you count into the data set, 17 places, well, there's two here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, data value is 55, and the 18th is 56. So you average those together to get the median of 55.5. Okay, and again, for the sake of being brief, Q1 and P90. Okay, so finding Q1 and P90, they're the same idea. You, you, you find the location of them, and that's using the N times whichever quartile or percentile that you're at. So Q1 is the 25th percentile, so 25 hundredths times the 34, which is your sample size, and that gives you 8.5. Okay, so that means you round up to the ninth data value, and that'll give you Q1 is 44. Okay, and on the calculator, it also gives you Q1 is 44. Okay, and then P90, okay, again, very similar. Take N times your percentile, the 90th percentile, gives you 30.6, so you have to count in to the 31st data value, and that'll give you 68. Okay, so P90 is 68. And one way to find the 31st data value is if you know there's 34 total, you have 34, 33, 32, 31 here. So 68 will be P90.